In world news, the Israeli Defense Forces are claiming they're working on a new land crossing between Israel and Gaza to allow more aid to get to civilians who are in hard to reach areas. Manisa Donabalan joining us live with the latest on this. Hey, Manisa. Hey, Matt. An IDF spokesperson says it will be a new land crossing. This comes after the Israeli Defense Minister said yesterday that the country plans to flood Gaza with huma humanitarian aid after pressure from the U.S. earlier Wednesday. President Joe Biden said Israel's efforts are still not enough. These new measures enable us to bring more aid and trucks destined for Gaza from overseas, including the via land crossing with Jordan, where we expect 58 trucks a day to pass through. Today, trucks carrying aid were seen entering through the Rafah crossing. Many humanitarian agencies, including the UN, have expressed concern over the catastrophic situation in Gaza and the threat of imminent famine, urging for more aid to be delivered. Also today, UNICEF says that one of its vehicles was hit with gunfire as it was waiting to enter northern Gaza. This incident is just another example of how dangerous it is for us and for the people that we're trying to serve in Gaza. It was shocking that, that this was happening to us on a coordinated mission in a designated holding area. Um, we had colleagues outside the vehicle who very easily could have been injured or killed. According to Gaza's health ministry, Israeli bombardments and ground offensives have killed at least 33,000 Palestinians and wounded almost 75,000. The ministry doesn't differentiate between civilians and combatants in its tally, but says women and children make up two-thirds of the dead.